New tonight at 630 is a group of teens targeting hardworking residents in the West Valley. Two street vendors telling ABC 15 three young men robbed them at knife and gunpoint, taking money, money they need for medicine and to care for their families. And now they're asking for help to make their streets a safer place to work and live. ABC 15 investigator Liliana Soto has their story. Apolinar Sosaya Morales and Ernesto Hernandez are street vendors. Apolinar is 75 and has been working as a paletero selling Mexican ice pops in West Phoenix for the last 17 years. He's been robbed multiple times. Otra vez me han puesto la pistola, una vez me asaltaron, me pusieron una navaja aquí. But last Friday's assault was different. He's older, his legs aren't the same anymore. He can no longer defend himself like he used to. No puedo estar parado porque me, no me aguantan en mis rodillas. Still, what worries him the most is his friend Ernesto, the rookie elotero, robbed along with him. Le dieron una cachetada primero, luego le quitaron su dinero. Ernesto is only 20. Selling corn on the cup helps him to support his little siblings in Mexico. En enojo, pues, yo me lo estoy ganando pues limpiamente con mi trabajo, y pues ellos de momento que te lo vengan a quitar. About $300 is what they took from them. Not an easy amount to recover in the middle of a pandemic. Como con un poco de miedo, ¿no? Pues que te vuelvan a encontrar de nuevo y vuelva a suceder lo mismo. Meanwhile, Apolinar, who has no health insurance, is now left without money for his medicine and a surgery he desperately tengo, needs. Tengo diabetes, tengo artritis. No, no puedo yo este, caminar. Pues camino, pues, un pedacito, pero siento que me caigo. Y luego, pues, que es caro la, la cirugía. Yo no tengo dinero. Police say there are no leads in either investigation. No one has been arrested yet. But Apolinar remains hopeful. Esto que sirva para, para que las autoridades pues hagan algo al respeto para, pues, para que no haya tanta maldad en, en la gente pobre que anda luchando. He wishes being victims of a crime wouldn't come with a job because retirement for them just doesn't exist. Me gustaría, pero no puedo. He says he'll work until he can't anymore. As hard as it is, he says one thing makes it worth it. El cariño que me ha dado la gente, su, sus atenciones, sus saludos tan amables, lo llevo aquí adentro de mí. El día que yo me vaya es un recuerdo que llevaré de, de la gente que, que me ha mantenido porque de ellos vivo. En Phoenix, I'm Liliana Soto, ABC 15, Arizona.